please start. Yes, sure. A pleasant day to everyone. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whatsoever it is at your respective countries. Please do accept my humble greetings of the day. I am Dr. Ravi Kumar here from uh, Bangalore, India. A master trainer, a coach, a facilitator, a mentor, a counselor on the both domestic and the international platforms. I am also a spiritual trainer and a spiritual preacher as well. I am an army veteran who did serve in the Indian Army for 30 long years and uh, post that uh, for the last 18 years, I am into this completely into training and development. So in the journey of these 18 years, uh, I have been uh, rewarded, awarded, and uh, have earned many accolades amongst many universities and uh, many other uh, educational institutions across India and overseas as well. So I thank all the participants, those who have joined by respecting the time on time, and uh, I welcome you all for day one of the Global Mentorship Development Program. Before I start the day, it is my privilege, priority, and also honor to thank our beloved founder of the International Internship University. Advocate Piyush Pandit Sir, who is the visionary educationist on the global platform. With his soul thought over the education, who single handedly started this international internship university, and in a very short period of time, the International Internship University has spread its wings to length and breadth of the globe in all the seven continents and more than 190 countries. It's also my privilege and honor to welcome our IIM members, those who are here on this very day, witnessing this particular session. Dr. Snigda Kadam and Professor Nada. I welcome you both for the session, ma'am. And it is also my privilege and honor to be in between the so many good uh, trainers, the educators, the principals, those who have joined the session for here today. I welcome you all for this session and hope to translate or transform and transfer whatever the little knowledge I have about the global mentorship program so that each one of you can take up the profession as the mentors and help your mentees to develop and excel in their professional career and also in their personal career as well. So with that note, I will start. So I request uh, Dr. Snigda, ma'am, to please uh, share the screen for today's presentation. The next slide, ma'am. Yeah. So, first of all, what is the basic thing one that we need to understand is that what is this mentor development program is all about? It is a, a program in which, or which is one of the way of formalizing the relationship between the individuals. In a professional, there is two individuals, where I mean to say is the mentors 
that means all of you those who have joined the session today and the mentees are the students so here whenever i mention the word students it doesn't only limited or restricted to the students those who are pursuing their education the students means the mentees of the mentor they are the students of the mentors whatsoever their their designation qualification whatever it is any mentee is a student of a mentor so going ahead whenever i mention the term students it is meant for the mentees so this mentor development program which is uh, offers a structured setting in which every mentor can develop beneficial one on one relationship between the mentee and the professionals that means the mentors so this also gives an opportunity for the mentor to act with the mentees or to personalize themselves with the mentees as a friend a teacher a guide a coach a trainer if you come come on all these things an educator to them so you can guide them to the real world and like this every mentor will have the opportunity to encourage and advise the mentees by sharing their own experiential learnings right so why i mean to say this experiential learnings is the mentors will have to have the 360 degree knowledge about the whatever the topic we are mentoring the mentees and share their experiences that means whatever the experience they have earned through their professional career their personal life career and also their social life experience couple of these three things together the experiential learnings will have to be shared with the mentors and have to guide the men men will have to be shared with the mentees and guide the mentees to develop their professional career and also their personal career as well as their socializing careers so going forward i'll just say that to develop their career so to carry means it implies to all the three life styles that is personal professional as well as the social life styles so by this what would the mentor be doing to the society another question in the minds of many of you whenever we take up the responsibility of a mentor what anyone that means to any mentees the mentor would be sharing all the experiential learnings the experiential knowledge to the mentees thereby giving back to their respective nation the very good benefit of the human resource because whenever hr profession that is the human resource profession when they try to hire any person for any organization they want a very skilled educated talented efficient human resource to their organization mentor is also to develop his mentees acquire all these three things efficient skilled and knowledge 
So a mentor gives back to the society. So today's program, we will be talking about how to organize this working program with the chapter network to assist the mentees with their career development and transitions. So, next slide, ma'am. So whenever we do this, what is the benefit of this program? How a mentor is benefited? One who attends this program, what is the benefit for them? What is the takeaway for them? If we look into that in a short or in a brief vision, it provides an opportunity for the learners, or we can call them as students, or we can call them as educators also, I'm sorry, to explore the world of work. To ex explore the world of work through interaction with professionals in the HR career of their choice. That means mentor will have the opportunity to have an interaction with the HR professionals if any organization where they can get the mentees to mentor them. And it also gives gains an experienced HR practitioner's perspective. Means through this program, a mentor will also gain the perspective of an HR or a HR practitioner who by applying the textbook concepts to real life situations. As all of us know that a teacher imparts the knowledge to a student, whatever is there in the textbook. The textbook knowledge, which is imparted verbally or vocally, or vocally to the students, the percentage of understanding those things and implementing that in the real life is the responsibility of the mentor. That's why this particular line, it says that playing the textbook concepts. So whatever that we have learned through our teachers in our school days or in our academic career, applying those textbook concepts means whatever the knowledge has been acquired through the academic career, applying this knowledge into the real life situations. Means when we get into the workplace, when we get onto the job site, how do we imply all these things in our lifestyles? It also familiarizes the, the mentors with the corporate protocol. The reason being how it familiarizes the corporate protocol to the mentors. The mentors will have to do a lot of studies. Those things you will be understanding it in the successive sessions that is going to happen for the next three days till Wednesday. So when today's is an outline of a mentor, till I'll be giving a brief description about each and everything over here. So when a mentor will have to have a complete corporate knowledge, the ethics, etiquettes of the corporate world. So that is what is known as the corporate protocol. So this is what a mentor gives to the mentee to understand the corporate protocol so that the mentee can upskill, upgrade, and get onto an escalated corporate workspace. Second thing is that it allows the mentor to identify a long-term professional development needs. Because a mentor always will be upgrading and upskilling and 
looking out to improvise the knowledge of the day to day trend or the day to day requirement what is going on what is soft after but a mentor not only looks for the what is the day to day this thing a mentor also foresees the futuristic requirement of the corporate world what would be the corporate requiring in the coming years so keeping all those things in the mind a mentor always educates or upgrades or upskills the mentee in all these regards so that's what is termed as the long term professional development needs and it also gives a real term networking value then it also develops a meaningful professional relationship over a specified period of time between the mentee and the mentor so, next ma'am so with all these things <coughs> a mentor program benefits professionals by allowing them to contribute to the professional development of the future hr workforce that means whatever the requirement are there in a corporate world by the hr workforce where an organization requires to hire or wants to hire only the skilled professionals where the hr would be looking out for those skilled professionals to be hired in their respective organization so this facilitating program of global mentorship pro development program would help the mentors to contribute to the professional development of the future hr workforce who should would be coming the hr workforce they can build their workforce for the future of the organization it also allows to identify the potential interns so as all of us know that right almost all the organizations today are providing internships to many a students of any type of education whether it's a professional education or a higher secondary education or a teaching graduation whatsoever it is even for the diploma students many organizations are providing internships yes why they are providing this internships because it is easy for them to understand and select their required type of skilled workforce manpower for the respective organizations so once that internship is done and those students those who successfully get through in the internships they'll be hired through the campus hiring process or the campus drive process so this would help the mentor to develop the mentees to the required skill set of any organization this helps the mentee also to understand the requirements of the corporate world of the day to day trend and very simple thing to know about all these things is it always helps any student or any mentee to a very successful career beginning and it gives something back to our professions right so being a mentor we will be giving back to the students or to our mentees that is whatever our profession is we will be giving it back whatever the knowledge we have acquired from our master trainers or our master coaches or our master facilitators we are giving it back to our professionals that means we are developing our upskilling and upgrading the future professionals to the world this is what is the benefit when we take up this mentorship program in our career 
सो ये मेंटा टू अंडरस्टैंड इन ए सिंपल नोट इज दैट ए मेंटरशिप ऑलवेज इज ए पर्सनल यू कैन डेवलप द पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप विद द मेंट इज पर्सनल इयर इन द सेंस See how to build that professional relationship. How can you? You are a friend. Being a friend, you help the mentees to understand about the today's needs and requirements of the corporate world. So you train them or mentor them to develop that relationship, the workforce relationship between the peers. between the colleagues how to develop that social relationship you become the guide to them you show them the right path to travel in their professional as well as personal as well as their social lives and you will help them to work as an apprentice to under you that means whatever the knowledge you implement them you make you see to it that they work on that when they work on that they get the work experience when they get that experiential knowledge they are the apprentices under you you also make them to understand what is communication and make them to become the good communicators you as a mentor you are one in all to your mentees in brief if i had to tell tell that as a mentor you will be one in all to your mentees now let us understand what is mentoring ma'am next slide please next next slide please yeah what is mentoring so mentoring is like developing both the personal and professional life excellence of an individual that means of your mentees mentoring is sharing your experiential and academic knowledge mentoring means giving encouragement to the mentees mentoring means developing a relationship long term relationship that would be developed over a period of time mentoring means helping another person to develop into a successful professional life with all these things the next question that might come to one's mind is that there are so many things anybody can be the mentors right who can be a mentor anyone can be the mentor who can be a mentee anyone can be a mentee and who needs a mentor everyone needs a mentor so to a newborn child the mother is the first mentor parents mentors teachers they are also mentors friends they can also be the mentors in the same way mentee can also be anyone so why because of these things because the professional building the professional relationship between the two is very important because building that professional relationship is not strong then there will be no team building or there will be no team relationship there will be no leadership skills develop in an individual so building that long term relationship is very important to do, do that mentoring is very important because during the mentoring only we make the mentees to understand what exactly is the meaning of relationship is because if i say only simply what is a personal relationship people get into all the sorts of negatives developing the long term 
healthy relationship any woman is a personal relationship developing a long term workforce relationship that is related to one's field of work to increase the knowledge is the professional relationship building a long term relationship with the social circle is a social relationship so as a mentor when we make the mentees to understand these things and make them to develop this long term relationship and that three different life skills personal professional as well as their social life skills that is their total career is very important because of this mentoring is very 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 important next ma'am so if i have to say in that case who is a mentor a mentor is as i told you earlier he is a multi actor he is not a like uh, what you call as so single acting or double acting or triple acting he acts as a multiple actor so he disguises himself or herself into many pictures because a mentor is a leader a mentor is the guide a mentor is the teacher a mentor is the coach a mentor is the counselor all these things is the mentor so as a leader having the art of leading a team through the effective mentorship of its members so you as a mentor you will have to guide the, your own team the mentor's team how to take the mentees forward so mentoring is something that can be done successfully by anybody in a position of experience means one who has the wide experience or the huge experience in any field or in any vertical of any domain can become the mentor of that particular field or particular vertical of the particular domain also how it is important to keep in mind that even in that particular domain or a vertical or the field one will have to have that 360 degree knowledge having that 360 degree knowledge how will it come only with the work experience one would have worked in that particular domain of the particular vertical or the particular field so sharing that experiential knowledge means to it becomes a simple role it is a very simple role to nurture the mentee to encourage them to learn grow and upskill now if you understand ki further if we go and search for the definition of the mentor a mentor is a someone who goes beyond the limits of a teacher that means what is that limit beyond the teacher you just see limit beyond the relationship of a student teacher relationship to help the mentee succeed in work school or in any in any other area it is not that a mentor is a teacher and the mentee is a student it the developing the relationship that's what i said all the three sets of relationship will be developed by the mentor with the mentee that is the personal relationship the professional relationship and the social relationship the value of these three relationships are being imparted to the mentee by this 
importing of the three life styles or the three lives that a person leads in the career helps the mentees whether he is a student of a school or a student of any higher education or student of any professional education institution or an employee in a workplace whatsoever may be the thing so if you have to understand what is the role of a mentor in a workplace how can a, an individual mentor an employee of an organization so at work or in a workplace a mentor always fosters the relationship with the new associate to help them engage with the workplace he always makes them to understand the role of his work role of the mentee's work once and how the role of the work has to be carried out and understand the role of the work how the organization operates and how to fit in with the company culture means every organization has its own culture has its own way of getting the work done has its own way of rules and regulations so to understand all these things to gel with the company's culture to understand the company's terms and conditions rules and regulations the need of the company the requirements of the company and for the progress of the company so when an individual looks for the progress of the company only then the self progress also happens and in return what would the employee be getting in return to employee or the new employee that's a very valuable input learn how to become an integral part of the organization how can he be taking up the ownership and look at the ownership of his own responsibilities take the ownership of the organization assuming that this is my company and i have to work for this that ownership to get that skill to get that understanding mentor helps the mentees and as someone that they can communicate with during times of uncertainty building that social relationship building that professional relationship how to get help from others or how to help others during certain uncertainties that may happen in the organization next ma'am so again this is another slide that i already told you or who is a mentor a mentor is a career guide a mentor is a trainer a mentor is a coach all in all next slide ma'am please so what is are the benefits of being a mentor so being a mentor it validates the mentors leadership skills also it becomes a recognized as an advisor learn to clearly communicate with others or gaining new perspectives and giving back and finding the new talents so this is how the last line giving back and finding the new talent this is where a mentor helps the hr force next slide ma'am so a mentor or what is mentoring mentoring has these six directions or six protocols that we need to work upon a mentor is the one one who gives the right direction 
to an individual by importing the training. Once the training is imported, once the mentee has developed his certain skill sets to the required benchmark, supports him, supports the mentee by handholding the mentee to work towards the success. How does this happen by setting a special specific goal, what needs to be achieved and motivating the mentee to work towards the goal. So all these three things, they are interlaced with one another. So this is how a basic concept, giving the right direction means guide, guiding the mentee to go in the right path. But I am putting the right top trainings and to understand those trainings to set the realistic goal and become a successful individual in his career is a simple definition of a mentor. So a mentor will enrich you on a personal and professional level. So, She's a host now, so I think she will. She, she... Sorry, Nikita... uh, I had some connection issue. I will again uh, start. Sorry. Okay, Dr. Snikta, okay. Can you see the screen? Oh, not it. Not? Okay. It'll take a few seconds. Yeah. This slide only, na, sir? Uh, yes, benefits. The next. First, no, no, previous one. Previous, sorry. After mentoring. After this, na? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after mentoring, yes. Yes, wait. Okay, okay, no problem. Please start. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, oneself in their life on a personal and professional level by helping yourself to do certain things. So, what are those certain things if we have to see that? Then, build your leadership. So, when you become a mentor, you develop and improve your own leadership skills. Right? It helps you to build your ability to motivate and encourage the other people. So, when this happens, this will help you to become a better manager are a better employee of an organization and also a better leader. Being a mentor, it also helps you to improve your communication skills as well. Because your mentee may come from a different background or different environment Two of you may not speak the same language also. So when 
your mentee is from a different background or a different environment and both of you speak two different languages so what would happen being a mentor it will make you to explore to find a way or find a new way to communicate with the mentor in the way that the mentor can also understand whatever the guidelines that you are giving to the mentee so this will automatically navigate your way through the mentoring relationship so because of this your communication skills is improvised you will find out a way how can i make my mentee to understand the content of whatever i am delivering so so that both of you come and land on a common platform to understand each other thereby improving your communication skills so what would happen when you improvise your communication skills so when your communication skills are improvised you will understand to learn the new perspectives so so what are the new perspectives if you are to see you working with someone having less experience than you and is from a different background ma'am next slide please he is from a different background and you can get into a new and fresh perspective of things by like understanding the culture the background the environment of your mentee and you learn many things on your new way by new way of thinking rather which can help in your work life as well as your personal life next slide ma'am so this is how one understands a different perspective means one can learn to understand the new perspectives so the other benefit of this is it will also help you to advance your career by refining your leadership skills which can center your on the job performance perhaps helping you to get that promotion to higher management or into the management in the first place showing that you have helped others to learn and grow is showing your leadership skills that's why very long back i had done a session on this what is leader development and leadership development there is a difference between being a leader and developing the leadership qualities being a leader is leading from the front having followers but developing the leadership what is the actual leadership quality is not leading from the front it is leading from the middle along with everyone of the team moving along with the team taking all the team members along with you to go and develop and improvise their career to a better situation that's what is the leadership skills where the team building and the team developing the teamwork is the basic skill set that would be required to learn understand and implement by the leaders to become or to show the best leadership qualities so when you develop this leadership qualities in you 
the leadership skills in you you are strengthening the on the job performance of your own and you are helping someone else or the other or your colleagues here to learn and grow is becoming more and more essential to advancement in the today's business world when you do this or when you develop this true leadership qualities in you as a mentor each one of us when we have this leadership quality as one of the basic quality of in our mentorship skills we get that self satisfaction there is no other satisfactions better than the self satisfaction so that is what is known as the personal satisfaction right which very personally fulfills to know that you are directly contributed to someone else growth and development so like it gives that parental happiness to the mentor when as a parent we look our child progressing in his or her life or in his or her career how happy we feel how satisfied we are at the same satisfaction level the same happiness is driven within us if we are the real mentors to become the real mentors you should develop that real leadership skills in us so when we develop that real leadership skills in us we are the rest of everything good communicators good leaders good teachers good trainers good coaches everything that gives that self satisfaction to us so when we see our mentee succeed and how because of the inputs that is being given by us and when the success of the mentee is seen the intuitional happiness the inherent happiness in us is a reward is the greatest reward that is achieved by us there is no other reward greater than that when we get that self satisfaction or the intuitional satisfaction i hope every participant do agree with this so to in brief if i have to tell a mentor is an experienced individual as i told you in the beginning in the beginning of the session itself is an experienced individual who teaches guides or help a less experienced individual to learn more about their chosen role in an organization so next slide ma'am to be a mentor or an effective mentor what are all the things that needs to be there in a mentor so a mentor will have to possess certain important characteristics will have to not develop will have to possess will these things will have to come as an inherent one these characteristics if it is not an inherent one it has to be developed and then brought to the level of possession it has to be possessed by the mentor acquired and brought into the real lifestyle these characteristics what are these important characteristics that is being patient and have wise that means develop the characteristics of patience and wisdom once you develop this characteristics of being patient and wise because this can share their experience with the others whatever the experiential learning we have so with that experiential learning if a person is wise and having the patience 
that person will never think anything negatively always thinks in an assertive manner this assertive thought process gives the mental to always looking forward to develop others so these characteristics are very necessary to help the mentees to learn about their role of job understand their role of job and their role and responsibility in an organization what should be their limits also in a way that on the job training or prior education may not provide these experiential learning you will not get it even in your academic career or in your internship or in your project <laughs> no where a mentee can learn this knowledge or can gain this knowledge just through a mentor who imposes all his experiential learnings onto the mindset of the mentee so with all these things if i have to say in brief a mentor is a trusted counselor He is a trusted guide. He is a trusted tutor, and he is a trusted coach. This I am repeating again and again and again. Ma'am, next slide, please. Because each one of us should understand who is a mentor. A mentor is not limited to perform one particular set of work. so a mentor is a trusted counselor is a trusted guide is a trusted tutor and also a trusted coach and is also a trusted relative is also a trusted friend a trusted facilitator also all these things contributes one mentor so if you want to be a mentor develop all these things in you and put this form form in your lifestyle so that each and every one of you become a very successful and a talented and a very effective mentor in your career so next slide ma'am a mentor again the definition if you have to see for that is a different perspective or in a different angle a mentor is a seasoned professional a mentor is a seasoned professional who informally guides a less experienced person to their pro- professional endeavors means he is a seasoned means very experienced having the complete experiential knowledge experience through the experiential learning in him who informally guides the less experienced or whatsoever may be the designation experience a mentor is having a complete experience in a particular field or in a particular domain or in a particular field of work which he informally guides a less experience whatsoever may be the designation or the level of the employee or the mentee it is whatsoever may be the level of the mentee whatever whatsoever may be the designation of the mentee he can be a ceo of an organization he can be a managing director of an organization he can be a chairman of the organization no matter when it comes to mentee mentor relationship mentee is a less experienced person than the mentor thereby helping the mentee to move ahead in the professional endeavors next ma'am so a mentor will have to work on 
these six parameters as a guide, as a motivator, should have that good strategy and should be a good coach, should be a good leader, should be a good trainer and also be a good guide as well. Next slide, ma'am. So, the important characteristics of a mentor, what are the right characteristics? So, necessary attitude to provide a professional guidance to others. So, these are certain good or the important characteristics one need to possess. A mentor should be a good listener, very attentive listener. A mentor should know, understand, and implement in his life how to give the constructive feedback. To take that personal interest to develop the mentee, take that personal interest to see the development of the mentee, should be enthusiastic and energetic as well to become a mentor. Should not take it lightly and should not take it for granted that yes, I have got this knowledge, I can guide anyone. No, that will not help to become a mentor. Again, that will become a teacher's role only. Just transferring whatever is there, the textbook, transferring it to the minds of the students. No. We'll have to be enthusiastic will have to have that experiential knowledge, that experiential knowledge, transferring that experiential knowledge and see to that that the mentee also imp implements this knowledge and gets the experience of it. That is the real life experience. And always treat others with respect and should be a skilled teacher rather a tutor to demonstrate the responsibility for the employees they are mentoring should be non-judgmental, should not have any biasing, should be a non-discriminator, should be an expertise in a specific or a certain field, should take the pride in one's work. That means should be take the pride to become a mentor. So next, if you have to see what are the qualities of a mentor is. Next slide, ma'am. So the qualities of a good mentor relevant expertise or having the relevant knowledge should enthusiasm, have that enthusiasm for sharing that expertise knowledge having a respectful attitude, eagerness or inclination to invest in others, ability to give honest and direct, that is the constructive feedback, reflective listening and empathy, and willingness to be a sponsor. These are the few of the major qualities a mentor should develop. Next, ma'am. So, as a role of a mentor is to share with a mentee or a protege information about his or her own career paths. The experience. That's what I'm again and again saying. That is the experiential learning to share the information about this, this or her own career path as well as provide guidance, motivate them, give the emotional support and become the role model to the mentees. A mentor may help with exploring the careers, setting the goals, developing contacts 
and identifying the resources to the mentees. Next, ma'am. Yeah, a mentor is not someone who walks ahead of you to show you how they did it. A mentor walks alongside you to show you what you can do. That is what I said. The major difference between being a leader or developing their leadership quality in you. So, a mentor should always not to be a mere leader, but should develop the right leadership quality in him or her. Next, please. So, the roles of a mentor are again, he can, he is a, or she is a coach, an advisor, a guide also. He or she, a mentor should be a good or an attentive listener, a strong supporter and a strong confident who makes the mentees to get the confidence. He becomes a very strong resource person. A mentor is a champion or a cheerleader. He is a strategist. He is a role model. He is the sounding board for the mentees. And he is being a role model. He will be the lifestyle or the image makeover of the mentee. These are the very many different roles a mentor will have to play. The true meaning of persona or the personality is what he has to disguise. A mentor will have to disguise himself in these many roles to be a successful or a, to be an effective mentor. So, the different types of mentoring, if you have to see, what are the different types of mentoring or the mentorship one can do is, ma'am, next slide, I think. Is, yeah. So, mentor number one, the master he is the master of craft. Master of craft here in the sense, the master of the field in which he or she is mentoring is or her mentee. A mentor is the champion of the cause. A mentor is the co-pilot. A mentor is an anchor. A mentor is a reverse mentor as well. So, a mentor is the someone who allows you to see the hope inside oneself. Next slide, ma'am. Means, a mentor is someone who allows you to see the hope inside yourself. That means, he is the, like a rising sun in the mentee's life. When you give that light to see what is there within him, the mentee's, He gives that wake up alarm to the mentees to wake up, find what is there, what is the ability, capability, or whatever the thing in him. Sparkle that little spark in one's ability so that you nudge the career of a mentee. So, at next slide, ma'am. Truly amazing mentor, hard to find and impossible to forget. A truly amazing mentor might be hard to find, but once you find a true mentor, it is very hard, impossible to forget that mentor. So, you, I wish all of you to become a true mentor where all of you will be hard to forget 
by your mentees. Thank you so much for hearing to me so patiently for all this time. And I also thank Snigdha ma'am and Professor Nara ma'am for being here today with us to support me as well and giving me this opportunity to be the resource person of the day for all of you. I also thank from the bottom of my heart the International Internship University and its team members for giving me this opportunity and I also extend my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our beloved founder the fashionist educator, our beloved founder, advocate for you, Pandisha. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Professor Nada, would you like to say something? Please, Adam. Okay. I want to say, uh, Professor Dr. Kumar, uh, you were great, like always. Uh, today, our great participants were really honored and blessed at the first day at the starting of this mentor development program uh, to be and to, to be on the uh, education and the lecture and the training of our great Sir Ravi. So we started uh, with the, the main uh, terms, definition, benefits, and Sir Ravi really explained it great. So if anyone have questions, uh, Please uh, write in the write in the chat. Uh, Sir Ravi will answer. And also tomorrow we will continue with uh, with the next uh, day. So uh, I'm sure that at the end that you will be very satisfied with this amazing program and being a mentor that is really today uh, very unique, special, and I mean in every every field, whatever you do. Uh, it is uh, crucial to be a mentor, to have all these uh, uh, futures, characteristics, knowledge, uh, being a great mentor. And Sir Ravi, a big clap for you. You were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed, it was a great session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ravi, sir. Thank you, Professor Nada. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. Thanks to all the participants. And uh, Ravi, sir, again, we will get to see you even on the last day as a trainer. Sure, yeah. sure, ma'am. Sure. Yes. And last day, we will be giving you an assignment. Everybody needs to speak, like, you know, what will be your role as a mentor in the future, right? how you will apply in your career. So every participant needs to speak for at least say five to seven or 10 minutes maximum. Okay. Yeah. So yes. prepare yourself. We still have three days. Okay. So with this note, we end this session. Thank you everyone. Good night. Thank you. Dr. Thank you.